When we get to Psalm 56, which is the next psalm, historically speaking, we find the setting for that in 1 Samuel 21. 1 Samuel 21, 10 through 12. And in this psalm, we see David confident. In fact, I'll read to you the reason why he was confident from Psalm 56. If you want to look at that verse, it's the key and the touchstone of this psalm, as we saw a few weeks ago. As David confidently stands, do you remember that the Philistines had seized him in Gath? He was a prisoner, as it were, of war. He was with the enemy warriors. They were totally outnumbering him. He was at their mercy. And yet, in the ninth verse of the 56th Psalm, which is portrayed in the narrative of chapter 21 of 1 Samuel, David is confident because he had the distinct impression that God was on his side. I like the way he puts it in Psalm 56 and verse 9. Then my enemies will turn back in the days when I call. Why, David? Why are you so confident, David? Why, when you are encircled with your enemies, are you so confident? The end of verse 9. This I know that God is for me. I kind of like that. Isn't that a thrilling thing to think about? To have the distinct impression that you are on God's side and God is on your side? Remember that any one of us plus God makes a majority in any situation. That we can call upon Him and we can see Him perform great and mighty things that we don't know could even be accomplished. And we see in David's life, in this third beautiful portrait from the Psalms, we see a very confident man, not confident in himself, but confident as he testifies in Psalm 56, 9, that he had this distinct impression that God was on his side. And we see God deliver him. And we see him in the last verse, delivered from death, his feet from stumbling, so that I may walk before God in the light of the living. Psalm 56, 13. I believe that we can mirror the same thing in our lives, that we can walk with confidence to know that we can conquer even in difficult times because we can walk before God in the light of the living because He is for us. This I know, God is for me. Do you know that God is for you? The fourth of the Psalms we looked at is Psalm 34. Psalm 34 is set again in, with the backdrop of 1 Samuel 21, verses 13 through 15. It's fascinating to see that as David is driven out of the presence of Achish and departed, as he does that, we see David when he recovers from that situation of great fear, yet an awareness that God is seeing him through it. We see David in Psalm 34 magnifying God magnifying God. Do you remember that the writer of Chronicles tells us that God's eyes are looking to and fro in the earth? And he's still doing that, by the way. Looking for those whose hearts are completely toward him that he might show himself strong through that person. In a world where most people on this planet are seeking to minimize God, he's looking for a few that will magnify him. In every situation, make great the name of the Lord. And why did David magnify God? Well, we see in Psalm 34 that he had an unwavering awareness that God was watching him. Do you remember that? All the way through the, the psalm, he said, the Lord, verse 5, is looking. He heard me. He saves me. He encamps around me. Verse 15 of Psalm 34, the eyes of the Lord are toward me. His ears are open. His face is toward me. We went over this a few weeks ago and David had this unwavering awareness that God was watching and therefore, because God is watching, because God had his eye on him, David said, I want to magnify you in my life. And he did. 